Is now a good time to go to a coding bootcamp? For me, that answer is hello, everybody. My name is Nayan. I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for you and aspiring software engineers. And today, we're going to talk about coding boot camps. Is now a good time to go? And here, let me make sure I make this clear right now. When I am talking about coding boot camps in this sense, I am talking about paid coding boot camps, boot camps that cost over $10,000 to attend. <laughs> So first things first, we cannot have this conversation without having the tech conversation in general. I'm pretty sure most of us have seen what's been going on in the world of tech, the layoffs and just the decrease in stock prices as well. Now, I'm not saying this to say that right now is not a good time to become a software engineer. That's not what I'm saying at all. However, when we're looking at these trends, specifically the decrease in stock prices, that affects the lucrative nature of the offer you are likely to get when you do get a job or an offer as a software engineer. In 2022, the tech stock prices decreased by 30%. Now, this may not mean much to many people. I, I feel like it should, especially if you're looking to enter the space, because what is the number one thing most people brag about when they're talking about their tech jobs? Money, money. That's what people tout around. That's what they talk about when talking about what made them get into the field and why they love the field so much. Now, something that's not always uh, shared explicitly is where that money is coming from. Many people, if they work at Google, they work at Netflix, Microsoft, they will brag about how much money they are being paid. And I'm not, I'm not saying that the bragging is wrong, but what I am saying is a lot of the money that they are receiving in terms of what, in regards to compensation comes from this thing called stock options. When 30%, 20%, 40% of your compensation package is based off of stock options. And now you see that stocks have decreased by 30 percent now the value of those options have decreased significantly as well making the compensation package of a fame job or tech job in general just less lucrative and just less desirable than what it was in the past 2020 pre 2020 etc now, and I mentioned this in the beginning, I'm not saying this to say that now is a bad time to become a software engineer, but why am I saying it? Because coding boot camps expect you to put up an investment of 10, 12, 15, $20, thousand dollars for a couple of months of learning with this uh almost promise that they give you of hey but you're gonna get a really lavish tech job you're gonna get a job that pays so much more than this uh than this fee you just need to invest in yourself and yes i am all about investing in yourself but not when that return on investment is different now than it was a couple of years ago. And it very much is. Now, that's just one thing. Now, let's talk about another thing, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is so amazing in that it has the potential to help you go towards your goals in a way that has just not been seen before. If you saw my last video, I talk about how to become a software engineer in four months in lightning speed using ChatGPT. ChatGPT has allowed for extra guidance to be received where before that guidance was maybe only available behind a paywall. I personally have said many times that I believe the main reason a person should make the decision to pay a large sum of money for a coding bootcamp is because they want true 
guidance from somebody who has um, who has experience in the field. That is why I went. I had tried to go the self-teaching route back in 2020, and it just wasn't working for me because I constantly did not know what the next step to take was and it really just hindered my learning and that's what made me finally say fine i'll go to a coding boot camp now however that's not necessarily the case if i want guidance i kind of have it check out that video so you can really see exactly what i mean but where before i would learn something and i didn't know if i was at a good place to learn something else or what that next thing to learn even was now ChatGPT is able to spit out the information for you in this so easy to grasp and comprehend manner that i don't really need uh to pay ten thousand dollars to have somebody else tell me how to do it now some of y'all might be asking hey naya but coding boot camps they might look better on my resume or they'll help me get a job or all of these other reasons to go to a coding, a coding bootcamp. The thing is, and I hate saying this, I'm not trying to call people a liar, I'm not. Coding bootcamps don't really help you get the job. If you ask most people, if you ask me, I still very much had to do that all on my own. They do express that they help through advisors, through counselors. They have connections with jobs to help you get interviews and whatnot. And that just wasn't what I saw in my experience. I, going through the job hunt process after spending 16 weeks learning to code, did not ever feel, oh, thank God I went with the coding bootcamp because now I have all these different job opportunities. No. So what I'm saying is, if you're going to be doing all that work anyway, and now you have a way to receive guidance that doesn't include a coding bootcamp, why not go the non-coding bootcamp route? Now, ChatGPT is a humongous resource that all of us, I can say, have found some type of benefit from. Away from ChatGPT, so many more resources have come up in the last couple of years since I have started learning to code, even though that was just two and a half, three years ago. Oh my goodness, that was three years ago. Not even a half, that was three years ago. But yeah, so many more resources have come up where if I want to go to a free coding bootcamp, there are options for me. There's ADA Academy, there's Resilient Coders, there's 100 Devs, and all these other resources that I'm going to link below in the description box. But there's just so many more resources now that it's not you're all on your own or you must spend 10 to $20,000 on a bootcamp. There are now options in the middle and those options are really good ones, some of them. So do not skip past looking through those options. If you'd like me to do a video on what those options look like, please let me know in the comment box below. But I say that to say, there's just so many more resources, y'all. And another consideration I would really appreciate you all making is the added cost of the bootcamp. So coding bootcamps cost $10,000, $15,000, $20,000. Many people don't just have that to just give. Many people are taking out loans to do that. With interest rates being as high as they are right now, coding boot camps, if you pay for it via a loan, it's not just $10,000, it's not just $15,000. It's substantially more than that now because of the high interest you're paying on top of the loan itself. And to go back to my first point, to do all of that, and on top of it, the return not be as lucrative as it was before with what compensation packages look like now. It's just another layer to consider when trying to decide whether or not to go to a paid coding bootcamp or not. And so is now a good time to go to a coding bootcamp? For me, that answer is no. I'm not saying it's never a good time. I'm not saying different circumstances does not uh, decide whether or not it's a good time or not. But given what I've talked about here and the resources that have come up in the last few years on top of the financial weight of the decision now, as opposed to a couple of years ago, I would say 
it is not a good time to just jump in to a coding bootcamp. I'm not saying don't do it, especially if you've tried applying to the free options and you just haven't gotten much luck there. And now it's okay. I've gone through all the options and this is the only one for me because of the type of learner I am and the situation I'm in, then please do not see this as me saying don't do it, especially when the options are go to a coding bootcamp and get a job or you stay at a place in your life that you don't want to be in and you've tried all of these different things it's been months you've been trying to self-teach and do all this and it's just not working know that that is not what i'm saying at all so i hope this was helpful i hope it was informative what questions do you have let me know in the comment box below but yeah thank you so much for joining me for another video and i will talk to y'all very soon bye y'all